Well, it's Saturday, and I do mean Saturday. Once again, folks, it's the Big D, and I do mean big. Yes, Big D, coming to you live and in person here in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Uh, a uh, stop. It's cold out here. You can see yourself breathing. Uh, a Oasis stop here in Allentown. You can see the fuel. Man, is it cold. You can see where the heater exhaust is coming out. That's running. Ooh, man, it's cold. I got a Roy Rogers Hershey's barbecue, Starbucks, Family Gilla, Cinnabon, 7 Eleven in there. Yep, we're at the Turnpike Oasis here. Right now, I'm telling you, it is bitter cold, <laughs> to say the least. But that's why we're doing the video. We like bitter cold. No, we don't. But uh, you can see the beds made. Today's topic is how to stay warm in this kind of crap because it's going to be whew, it's cold. Now, the weather forecast is tomorrow at 3 o'clock. Uh, no freight. No commercial vehicles are going to be allowed on the interstates out here unless it's loaded. So if I'm not loaded by 3 o'clock tomorrow, I'm not permitted on the highways. And, you know, you got some people say, well, <laughs> you're in an undermarked van. Go on out there. Okay, do it. Let me give you a little trick about law, how that works. They see us. They pull us over. First thing they're going to ask you for is your driver's license and what? Proof of insurance. So as soon as I hand them my proof of insurance and it says commercial on it, well, I'm screwed. So don't do that, folks. So anyway, back to the topic at hand. It is cold. But before we get there, I want you to subscribe to this channel. Have you not subscribed to the channel? Why haven't you subscribed to the channel? I want you to like the channel. Hit the bell notification. Share this. Let's get this no-nonsense crap out of here. So many people think they're right and giving advice out here, yet they're not making money. <laughs> it's even funnier getting advice from people who aren't making money telling you who are making money that we're wrong. It's amazing. Just amazing. But... How to stay warm. Chinese diesel heater. You probably hear it running. It's blowing out the seat. You see it's blowing air. Yeah, blowing air. It's blowing out hot air. Now I take and I pull this curtain back to basically keep the heat in my little sleeping area up there so you can see that the and it also gives me privacy walmart 10 bucks and a bar <laughs> but there is the gas tank that's diesel fuel you see the line coming down to the bottom goes in behind the panel there comes in goes behind there the fuel pumps back in there it's actually clicking down here you can put it underneath i generally keep it up behind the wall there and then it comes in and goes down through that line and the heat circulates around, comes out right here. And I'm sitting here and it's just blowing nice hot air on me. And this has been running now for on pretty high temperature. Had it up to 3.5, which is pretty high. Uh, for 14 hours. And I've used not even half tank yet. I'm high. So it's doing the trick. Keeping me nice and warm because Big D's got to stay warm. Big D likes to be warm. And it's cold out there. Now, everybody tells you that's the trick. Well, there's more to it than that. Because what if that fails? Now, that's actually running wiring for that. Runs over here to the battery bank underneath of there. And I got my inverter right there. So, and it's not even on. You see, I flip it on here. Now the inverter is on. It's not even on at the moment. So I'm just running the power off of the batteries. That's all it's doing. So, the next thing you're going to need is to a get your bed off the damn floor. Sleeping on this floor, even with the wood down here, it's with the wood. It's better. 
but sleeping on this floor would be bitter cold. You're not going to stay warm. Get the bed off the floor. Now I got the bed off the floor. Got a nice foam mattress here. As you can see, it's nice and cushy. But this is a 20 degree below sleeping bag. That's right, folks. Even if this fails, I can crawl in that sleeping bag and stay warm. That sleeping bag will keep you warm. Uh, and it will do a nice job up to about 20 degrees. Now, you know, negative 10, eh, you're, you're toasty in there. I'm telling you now. I was in negative 10 the other night. And uh, I couldn't get this thing to come on because, well, it was negative 17 for a while. And I hadn't had the additive in the tank. So the uh, diesel fuel kind of gelled up. When I got down into Tennessee, it thawed out. And it worked fine again. So I put the additive in. But, uh, yeah. Having that sleeping bag saved the day. And in the summertime, you can sleep on top of it. And I have a little blanket back here. Extra protection. A little blanket back there. And, of course, you can see the little light there that I use at night when I need to come on because I can't flip these lights on unless I flip the keys and all that. And I just reach over and hit that. It's just as easy. But staying warm out here is going to be critical. Now, I usually lay around in here in my underwear or a pair of shorts. But, uh... To not, right at the moment, no. No, I usually wear this because most places are going to tell you. In fact, I was at a place yesterday uh, over in uh, Maine that said, quote, you will have a vest or you will not be uh, allowed on the property. And when you checked in, there's a machine over there for $9.95. You could buy yourself a cheap little vest. If you didn't, too bad. You weren't going to get loaded. There's a truck driver there didn't have a vest. I had several. I, this is the one I've gotten. For, I still carry it from basically when I was working with Amazon. Uh, official UV1 transport team. COVID guy. <laughs> I still wear that one. It's got my pins on it from Amazon. I use that one. But mainly in the wintertime, I like this lined one without the sleeves because I'm wearing a sweatshirt and everybody's gonna wear a sweatshirt and that that is really nice and warm keeps you nice and there you it's visible everybody's happy you'll see I have high vis orange gloves I have a high vis orange hat somewhere high vis is very popular you can see I got another vest stuffed up in there so you know it's not like we don't have this stuff in here I do but keeping warm is paramount out here there's my dirty laundry I got to do. That's a uh, carbon monoxide detector. If you're going to run one of these, you need to have that carbon monoxide detector. I was actually asked, do you have a smell in here? Diesel smell. No. Everything's venting out the bottom of these. There's two uh, pipes that go down like this. Underneath there in that one tube I showed you earlier, that's the exhaust. There's another one, which is the uh, air intake. And you can see the fuel line goes down under and comes up into it so that's all underneath the van and it's exhausting out that's paramount to have you don't want to die that thing messes up you need to know it but unless you spill diesel fuel you're not gonna have a problem now this here is sitting back here and I can unscrew that pull this up to the side of the the pump open this door here sling it out bring the hose in stick it in and fill the thing up from the pump directly takes a minute now with the weather coming in i have chosen this location in case i get stuck here why well it's clean it's safe i have that gas station right there connected to it now the gas ain't gonna be the cheapest out there i may pay 10 cents more a gallon i'll pay that just for the safety but i can keep the diesel tank running and I can keep the truck fueled up. As you can see, people are bundled up. It's cold. <laughs> Hats up and everything. They're cold out there. It's miserable out there, folks. But in here, I'm standing around perfectly warm. Not an issue. Keeping warm is critical. Negative 20 degree sleeping bag. Amazon, I paid like 80 bucks for it. Bed off the floor. 
Chinese diesel heater, which will run you about 150 bucks, take you two hours to install. And it's so simple. Even a caveman can do it. The controls for it are up here. Flip it on, just let it run. It'll keep you cool. Or not cool, but warm. And you can see the setup here is uh, hasn't changed. It's just very basic. It's 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 a workman, folks. I don't make it to Taj Mahal. I mean, I, you don't see any e track down. That's because I have the D's, D's rings. There's one there, there's one there, there, over here, here. There's D rings, and they're up in the front too, on each side. So I've got two, four, six, eight D rings in here. I can cross the freight down to the uh, woods, just so it slides in and out easy. This had a rubber mat in. I took the rubber mat out. I'll eventually spray paint this all black just to match it up. And I'll eventually put Easy Track in because I actually like it. But for now, it's too cold to fool with. <laughs> I'm actually going to raise the bed up a little higher, too. And that's so freaking can slide under it easier. All I have to do is put some blocking under there on this side here. Blocks. The two by fours under here. Lift it up here, here, and just lift this bed up another, I don't know, 12 inches or so just by making blocks and lift that bed up a little higher and then freight will slide in easier that way you don't lose your bunk i haven't lost it yet come close I haven't lost it yet so this is big d saying let's stay warm you can hear that heater humming makes my heart stay warm you all have a good one this is big d saying let's go make monies but basically let's stay safe and warm later